been like what two weeks, like fifteen days around there. Around there. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure you know, if asking this is going to be useful, but why would you uh, partially complete 30 pages instead of, um, say, uh, completing and uploading 20 pages or, or 25? That will, ha that will happen to make up for lost time on my birthday, which is this coming, which is the next Wednesday. I'm sorry, what about your, your birthday? What are you going to do with it? I'm going to upload all those, all, those page, all those pages, all the main pages in a bundle, in a bunch, on my birthday, which is that Wednesday. Okay, well, until then, I think I'll just keep uploading Sonic U Revolution because, you know, I, I want to please your fans, even if you don't. Chris, why uh, why would you... I, I, gave them a new, I, gave, I put up a new page yesterday as well. One page I had... So that that yep, I saw that actually. That one page plus I think you had two pages where you killed Simona. Uh so that's three pages total, you know, in like three weeks. Yeah, well, anyways. I do yeah, I do two pages a day. That means I've uploaded, you know, in the past fifteen days I've uploaded thirty pages of my own. And uh it's when's your birthday? Like eight days from now. So I'll have another uh sixteen pages up. So, that, so that's forty-six. Uh, you, are, you are mistaken. We're not talking about eight. We're not talking about eight days. My birthday is on the twenty-fourth oh. of February. My my mistake. So uh, so six days. Okay. Well, I'll have twelve new pages by then, in addition to the thirty I've already uploaded. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't know when your birthday was. Well, I specifically stated it on the uh, on my bio page on the Wikipedia and in a couple other places. The 24th of February, 1982. Hey, Chris. Chris, when is my birthday? I don't know. I did not study your bio. I did not well, study Chris, your bio. Well, Chris, Chris, it's on my bio page on the Asperpedia. Why wouldn't you know it? Well, I did not make I an mean, effort to I mean, if I'm supposed to know your birthday, birthday, don't you know mine? Chris, I'm kind of hurt. Okay, well, I apologize oh, for that. Goodness. And uh, after we're done here, I'll go to your bio page and... Learn and learn put in my mind when your birthday is. No, nah, you don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. I'd rather you work on pages than go look up info about me. Because, you know, I actually, uh, I don't know your birthday because I've been working on my pages rather than, you know, looking up your bio. Um, yeah, so, so I, I do really have to recommend that you um, begin uploading those 30 pages immediately, like, you know, as soon as we're done with the call or whatever, it, just get to work on it. I mean, stay up all night if you have to get those pages up. Because um, here's the thing about the way fans work. Um, you know, if you leave your fans in the dark for a week or two weeks or a month or however long, it really doesn't matter if you're partially completing some things because if you don't put out any product, then your fans have nothing to work with. Have you ever heard of the game Duke Nukem Forever? Uh, I'm sorry, you said Duke Nukem Forever? Yeah, you, well, you know the Duke Nukem video games? You ever played any of those? Uh, I, have seen, I have seen samples of that game. Okay, well, uh, the company that made those, they were working on a game called Duke Nukem Forever. And that was going to be, you know, like their next great title. And they were working on that for actually about 15 years. And uh, they kept promising, you know, oh, we, we've got, you know, we've got the engine built. You know, we've got the characters designed. We've got all this built. And, you know, all that's left is for us to release it. And they never released it because they kept retooling and tinkering with it. And finally, the company actually went out of business. So now there won't ever be any other Duke Nukem's. And if you keep doing the same thing, Sonichu is going to go out of business. Well, not permanently, because I have Sonichu Revolution, so it'll live on in some form. Well, yes, well, your yes, well, still, your your revolutions are not the original, are not the original Sonichu pages of which only I can draw up and tell. But what they are is existence, and the fans appreciate that. Your pages are not existence. 
And if you stop Sonichu, yeah. you, then, you know, the fans are going to want something. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess. Well, don't worry. You will see all, you will see all those pages in the completion of the 10th book. Okay. Um... Does this mean I'm a little I'm a little confused? How what um you remember when I told you? Well, of course you remember. I brought it up plenty of times about how uh, you really need to either you know do some sort of major reboot of Sonic U or else just come up with a completely different comic because um, you know all of the elements that you stole from other franchises. Are you still like thinking about that? Or because if you're going to finish book ten, then. I have been thinking about that, actually. What do you uh, What do you think about some it? Those, some of those changes will be talked about in the uh, clip show that's going to be in book eleven. Uh, um. So is book eleven like going to be a transition from the current sonnet yes, to a, yes, a new one? Yes, a transition. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, that's actually not really what a reboot is about. See. What you're doing, like a transition, suggests that the Sonichu that exists now is going to be like part of the same universe or world as whatever new Sonichu. Um, what a reboot is, is a hard stop. It's you reset completely. You start over from scratch. Everything that came before is just means nothing. It's null and void. Like, for example... Um, uh, like the the Spider-Man movies, you know, they they aren't in the same world as the comic. They were sort of a reboot because they told everything over from the beginning. Hmm. I see. Yeah. I mean, it, I know it's. I, I can sympathize with you on this. I mean, you've been working on Sonic U for you know ten years now, and to the thought that you have to abandon it completely and start over with something new, I understand that that's kind of a scary thought. But it is true. Hmm. Have you, um, have you, uh, what do you think of Sonic Revolution, by the way? Have you been reading it? I'm only like seven pages in right now. But. I have a look at it, and I did not like the way you were killing characters left and right. That's no good. It's just terrible. Well, don't yeah. Go killing, don't go killing characters. That just does not, that just, that just does not, that just does not work. It's like, it's like, it's like it's like doing zombie X-Men. Yeah. Marvel zombies. I remember. That, that was actually a pretty popular comic, wasn't it? It's actually on a PlayStation Network digital comic download, only only on the PSP right now. Oh, well, I've seen it in stores. Well, it, it was pretty popular, was my point. Anyway, but that's the point. That's still like, you know, killing. It's just like killing everybody left and right. It's, Chris, you know, um, how many... Every- how many comic books and TV shows and movies and, you know, whatever other media have you seen where characters die? Do you think they're all bad? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, they are bad because that's just totally sad. And plus, to do it in such a gory way, it's just terrifying. It's like any it's like any of the Saw movies, especially like the, like, especially like the first trap in Saw 6. Did you like those movies? That's, that was horrifying. Did you like those movies, Chris? The Saw movies? Yeah, I liked them. I mean, I enjoyed the... Uh, the you liked them, the but movie. there's death in it. How could you like a movie that has death in it, Chris? Death is bad. You said death is bad. Uh, I'm not talking about... Death I'm not is saying, I mean, yeah. Well, I'm not talking about the death part. I did not say I like the death part. I like the building of the character of John Kramer. In the movies, but the point is, you still like the movies overall, right? I mean, you wouldn't see them; you'd probably see them again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were hard. Yeah, I mean, I would admit they are horrifying, and they do frighten me. Well, hence, hence the about, genre of horror. Think about, if it's horrifying; it's doing its job, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, still, that's Hollywood magic, you know. That's, uh, you know, that's well, the people that acted in those movies are still. Are still alive and well, they just oh, oh, oh right, them. right. I forgot because comic characters are real people, and apparently, I'm guilty of of multiple homicide now. Chris, yeah. you, you remember when you killed Simona because we um, strong armed you into it because you refused to do it willingly? Are you guilty of homicide now? 
Thank you, Kelsey. Actually, Doug, 